G'day mate, Forty here. So, I was uh, plugging in my iPhone to power it up, plugging it straight into my laptop and using, is there a C, is there a C thing? That's where I plug my, my tech, uh, my new stream cam into. Is there like a C thing you plug into? Anyway, when I plugged in my phone to power it up, and we're looking across here to Bondi Beach, plugged in my phone to power it up, like it, it killed my internet. Just killed the internet for everyone where I'm staying. And I didn't know that. It took me a day or two to figure it out. So when I lost my internet, I immediately started plugging and unplugging. In the course of plugging and unplugging, you can imagine what happened. I didn't plug the plugs in correctly. And so I created a problem for everyone else. So in my anxiety about technology, I made life worse for everyone else. So I don't know about you, but when I have clarity, that makes everything so much better. And when I don't have clarity, it just drives me mad. So I need a name for things. I need it like a diagnosis. I need an explanation. Oh, mate. I can really lose my cool. So, there's a spiritual lesson here. This thing about patience, all right? I, I'm not a very patient person. And I've come to realize that patience, like a whole lot of virtues, is really only possible indirectly, all right? It's not really possible directly. And so I can try to work on my patience and it does absolutely no good. And I find that with a whole bunch of other moral issues. Like if I work on my patience, it's like trying to stretch a tight muscle. Like a lot of people are into stretching and chiropractic adjustment and it doesn't really work because if the muscles tight and in spasm, it pulls back into place. And so you, you stretch and stretch a tight muscle and it's going to pop, right? You can't get very far. And if you simply adjust your musculature, all right, then the muscle spasms are going to pull pull the musculature out of alignment. That's why a chiropractic adjustment only seems to provide benefit for a few hours or a day. Because you haven't addressed the muscular spasm. But when you release the muscular spasm, then your body comes much more into alignment. Everything works much better. So too with, with patience, like you can try to, I find you try to develop patience, it just doesn't work. It's like trying to stretch that tight muscle. But what does work is like a change in mindset. So if you go to a, like a silent retreat, you come back, uh, it's a lot easier to be present and patient. And so when I'm hungry, angry, lonely, and tired, halt, right? I, I don't tend to be uh, so good with the old patience and consideration and courtesy and decency and empathy. Like all these virtues aren't nearly as accessible to me when I'm hungry, angry, lonely, and tired. So, Like direct, direct working on these particular character virtues doesn't really work for me. 
so watching out for being hungry, angry, lonely, and tired, and then indirect approaches such as a whole new relationship with God. So I believed in God pretty much my whole life, but I needed God with skin on it. Like I needed to hear how people with my problem could find access to a higher power that enabled them to overcome this self-defeating compulsion that was also afflicting me. So God just didn't do it. I needed to be integrated into a community with, with steps and tools and a change in mindset, like a new pair of glasses. That's what I needed. Because just working on patience or working on not under earning or not debting or not masturbating or not looking at porn or you know, not acting out emotionally with my various compulsions just didn't work. I needed a new pair of glasses, a change in mindset. just like uh, releasing a tight muscle instead of trying to stretch it or trying to manipulate the bones and the bones just pop back into place and my character defects just pop back into place unless I can release you know, the, the, the bad habits of character that have got me into trouble now I believed in God my whole life and didn't do anything for my emotional compulsions. Didn't do anything for my addictions, really. So, people often say, oh, I'm sober by the grace of God. But they believed in God prior, right? And, and they were still drunk and acting out. So, God's not enough. You have to make the decision to abstain and integrate into a community where you learn from other people and you get access to a new way of living so that you're happy, joyous and free and therefore much less likely to be impatient. I don't know about you, but when I'm happy, joyous and free, patience comes much more naturally to me. When I'm hungry, angry, lonely and tired, patience comes less naturally to me. So anything I can do to be in a state of emotional equilibrium, to be in a state of emotional comfort. Look at all these helicopters. What's going on with the copters, mate? So many copters working out around Bondi. So anything I can do to be emotionally stable and calm and happy, that's gonna to work to the benefit of everyone who's around me. I, I need to get centered and at ease and in reality, so the more I can do to have an accurate understanding of reality and of my place in reality, then the less likely I am to get into trouble and to act out and to be impatient and rude and lacking in empathy. So the more sophisticated my top-down models for how the world works, the less likely I am to be impatient. And the more sophisticated my understanding of how I work bottom-up, what's going on inside of me, Right, the more likely I am to be rooted in reality and to be at ease and free, like a free muscle, a muscle spasm that's been released, right, then has much more flexibility, like a lot more room to deal with the ups and downs and the stresses of life.